Good morning or good evening traders depending on where you're at in the globe. This is Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading with the Daily Trading Report for Tuesday, October 27th. Uh, first we're going to start off with the Euro USD and again just looking at some really simple concepts. Uh, we're looking at the opening range and the Asia session and then obviously into the heaviest traded time frame of the day which is the London Open which handles roughly 30 percent of the market volume. So just into the Asian session, we saw the market um, close tentatively around that Europe high in, late into the U.S. session. And into the Asia open, the, the euro traded slightly higher and then broke down with a bearish breakout. Now, midway through that Asian session, it immediately reversed and established uh, a new high into the opening of the London time frame. Now, when we see that type of activity, and again, you'll notice that had a relationship to the previous uh, U.S. sessions high, there's a high probability for what's called an auction day. Um, and what that is is where the market essentially starts to establish a selling range high and a buying range low. And it's tentatively what um, Dalton in, in Mind Over Markets referred to as a, a low probability day. So when we see that type of setup, we want to be cautious about buying anywhere in, in this middle range area with, in terms of what they refer to as the profile or the balance area. And the reason why that is is that because oftentimes traders can often get stopped out in either direction as the market auctions later into the time frame. So what you want to be looking for in a case like this is selling range high, which we can see obviously institutional selling on the far left here still held fairly strong but also on the on the buying side we have some evidence of uh, smart money or institutional buying holding their levels around the uh, 102.90 range so on the euro that day uh, sort of a low low range uh, low probability day but uh, a great trading day for range traders who like to buy and sell the range let's take a look at the pound now again, just heading into the Asia session, we look at the opening range and, and didn't really see any um, break, strong breakouts. We saw sort of a, um, a buying low occur into the Asia open and that held fairly strong until the open of the London session. Now into the London session, we did see a bearish breakout take out the lows of the Asian session and that actually broke out fairly strong. But on the pullback, that Asia low seemed to hold, and aggressive traders uh, may have entered in somewhere up around that 53.47.50 area, 53.50. Uh, but breakout traders again had an opportunity into the uh, later into the session when the U.S. market opened, and there was a range there, roughly um, you know 40 to 50 pips. So again, uh, a fairly fairly low risk entry heading short into the market and uh, consolidation out of Asia and the breakout and then just the follow through here. So again just sort of looking at breakouts um, you know 80 percent of breakouts will fail but in this case we saw a breakout weak pullback that Asia low held and then a follow through breakout and again that that pullback bar was not strong enough to continue back into range and that sellers soon became, uh, sorry, the buyers soon became sellers and that market tumbled over into the U.S. session. Let's take a look at the pound yen. So, a bit more volatility here uh, into the middle part of the Asia morning session. The pound yen uh, uh, sold heavily, broke out heavily strong to the downside. Um, very mild weak pullbacks. Into the London Open, we saw uh, a bit of a pullback occurred, but then again, an aggressive selling occurred early into the session that took out the Asia lows. Now, just sort of looking back the last few days, these Europe lows uh, soon became resistance in today's London open session. And that market again uh, aggressively sold off, uh, and lows for the day occurred. Uh, early into the U.S. session. So a fairly uh, uh, strong opportunity there for, for sellers and that market um, 
roughly gave in the area of 50 to 60 pips uh, to the downside. So good opportunities for short sellers on the pound yen. And we'll take a look at the yen and um, again just uh, looking into the Asia open we saw selling occur quite aggressively which took out the US and Europe session lows from the previous day into the London open the previous areas of support that had held up soon became resistance and uh, aggressive selling occurred into the uh, early early part of the uh, London session and that market uh, sold off weekly uh, into the US open and it seemed to find support around the 120 20 area um, and that sort of consolidated into the US close so uh, fairly good opportunity for short selling um, you know again low risk strong movement downwards into the US session uh, again with with all these reviews just just looking at some plain simple price action and really important in terms of time of day uh, thirty percent of the markets trading volume globally occurs during that London session uh, less than fifteen less than fifteen percent uh, occurs into the US session and even less so into the Asian session so uh, just timing some of that um, price action with the market opens globally uh, could increase your odds for success uh, always manage your downside with any of these positions and I hope you got some value out of this if you have Please uh, comment and post. I'd love to have some of your feedback. And may the markets go with you. Thanks, traders. Hi, traders. I hope you found today's video interesting and informative. And I hope it gave you some valuable insights into making your trading simpler and more productive. If you haven't done so already, please come by my blog, stacyburktrading.com. Sign up for my free audio MP3, the seven step daily routine for high performance traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets and is designed to help traders to master the market with disciplined confidence and a winning mindset. Please like this or share it on Facebook and I would love to have some feedback. Any questions or comments, please put below. May the markets go with you and always trade in your own best interest.